Hi guys, so I'm here again today and I wanted to do a video on the curly girl method. Um, I've wanted to do a video on it for quite a while, but I've just been putting it off. And so today, that's what I'm going to talk to you about because I'm sure many of you have heard like in past videos that I've done that I use the curly girl method, but I never actually explain what the curly girl method is. So mo all of the information that I get, it came from a book by Lorraine Massey. Um, I really can't remember the name of the book. It's, it's Curly something. It might be called Curly Girls. But I'll put the information down in the bar that says read me um, so that you can get the information for yourself. But basically, um, whenever I first whenever I first decided to go natural, you know, it's like you have to like kind of pull information from everywhere and then, you know, figure out how you're going to make that information work for you. So one of the things that I did was I read a couple chapters of this book. Um, I didn't read the whole book but I did read a couple of chapters and then I did a research on the curly girl method and you know how to perfect it. So this is how I styled my hair today and um, I always use the curly girl method. Um, a couple of women in my family are natural like my mom and most of my aunts and one of my cousins and my best friend is natural. Um, but none of them are, use the curly girl method. Like I'm the only one that uses the curly girl method out of all of us. And usually they're like, oh, how did you get your hair to look like that? And they're, they're really like amazed at how curly your hair, my hair can be. But for them, like my mom, she only does braid outs or she flat irons. And like my best friend only flat irons. And my aunt only wears an afro, a picked out afro. So... I just thought that I'd do this video on it to share the information. Okay, so if you don't currently use the curly girl method, say you like having your hair straightened and you're using silicones, you know, to keep that hair straight after you get it straightened, then um, what you want to do is you want to use a sulfate, a, a shampoo that does have sulfates in it um, or sulfectants just to get the... Um, to get the, gosh, what was I just talking about? <laughs> you want to use a shampoo to cleanse your hair one last time before you start going over to using shampoo or um, conditioner only. Because with the Curly Girl Method, you're going to co-wash only. And um, you really can't use silicones in your hair if you're co-washing only because the um, conditioner is not going to be strong enough to actually get the silicones out of your hair. So um, when you are co-washing, you want to use something that's silicone free also. And um, you can co-wash as much as you want. Like it really does not um, take any moisture or anything away from the hair. So usually for me, I co-wash like every two days or every three days. And once you co-wash, then you want to add a little bit of conditioner back into your hair. And um, like I said, for me, I just use a small amount and I put just a dime size amount of Tresemme Naturals back into my hair. And then I use a dime size amount of the Shea Moisture Curling Smoothie. And that's what I put back into my hair after I'm done washing it. And for the Curly Girl method, you're going to want to use either a t-shirt or paper towels or a microfiber towel to dry your hair. You don't want to dry your hair with a regular terry cloth towel because it's going to cause, you know, more of the hair to become frizzy. And you definitely want to rinse your hair out with cold water so, you know, so that the cuticles stay closed. And these are all things that I have been doing since I big chopped in January. What I learned after reading this book is that I've always done the curly girl method. Even when I used to perm my hair, I would wear it wavy. And um, these are all methods that I already was doing, but now they have a name to them. So after you have, you know, dried your hair a little bit, it's just like a regular wash and go, really. You're just putting in your gel and you're also going to get a big comb. You're going to get a wide tooth comb. Um, give me a second and I'm going to grab okay. the one that I so have. So I went downstairs and I got my comb. So this is my wide tooth comb. And um, I use this when I'm in the shower sometimes. Mostly I detangle with my fingers. 
But if you're going to use the Curly Girl method, they, she does recommend that you get a wide tooth comb. And this is my microfiber towel. And I always use this towel every time I wash my hair. And this is the conditioner. And on the front it says silicone free and this is Tresemme Naturals. And this is the other conditioner that I put in my hair. Okay, so I've already talked about washing the hair, drying the hair, detangling, and then putting in a little bit more of the conditioner. So once you've styled your hair and you have the curls like laying how you want them to lay, you can either let your hair air dry or you can um, blow dry it. And this is a diffuser. And this is designed to blow dry curly hair. Um, it's an attachment. So this is how it looks without it. And you never want to blow dry your hair without an attachment on it. And basically, this snaps on there. And you can either hold it like this, or you can press it in there. And it basically will dry your hair without, you know, um, disturbing the curl pattern. I haven't used this um, in quite a while. In the winter, I tend to try to blow dry it more just because like, I don't want to walk around with wet hair like every two or three days. But um, right now, i just been letting it air dry. And if you need your hair to dry faster, you can also do something called plopping where you get a t-shirt and you basically wrap the t-shirt around your head and um, basically you're capturing the heat from your own hair and you're making it dry faster. So like you would wrap the t-shirt around like that. I don't usually um, plop. Usually I just let my hair air dry. Um, sometimes it can be late at night and it's still not dry. Like if I dry it late in the day, if I wash it late in the day. So I wash my hair around three and it's almost dry. So like if I wanted to get it dry before I'm gonna go to bed, then I could you know, wrap this t-shirt around it and it'll probably be dry within an hour. So, um, that's pretty much like all there is to the curly girl method. And, um, sometimes they can say like how often you should trim your hair, but I always recommend just trimming your hair when you see that you need it because everybody is different. So, um, that's pretty much what I do. And that's the curly girl method in a nutshell. A lot of people are probably using the curly girl method and they don't even know that there's a term that was coined for it and it's very interesting you know but I'll put all the links for everything down below because like this information basically just came from you know books that I read websites that I researched on and um, I think at this point I have my method down to how I want it like I get the results that I want um, every time it turns out the same so it's just kind of something that you have to work on like if you are a curly girl or you just want to be curly sometimes you know you just have to you know work at it and figure out what method works for you and that's it so anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed the video thank you and take care